I think the message is extremely important in this day and age, uh, especially with the kind of infections that are out there for those who choose to partake in sexual activities. This uh, particular message is really important, especially for uh, Indigenous communities, but, you know, the mainstream community as well. I think it's good to have it in a comic form because I think it's moving with the time, especially with that animation. I think it's great to see that they're moving away from the, the more traditional types of health promotion and looking at other media forms to promote health messages such as uh, sexual health and STIs and HIV through condom and, and through this kind of interactive animation form. I think it's great and it's simple and it's definitely going to attract the audiences from the ages from 16 to 30. So I feel it's, um, it's also a powerful medium as well. The art works great. Um, it's moving with the times. I mean, you know, you look at um, Condom Man was basically inspired on the Phantom, I believe, of the 1980s. And uh, now it's a new improved and he's got his kind of own identity now. So he's moved away from um, a kind of Marvel comic inspired animated type guy to He's got his own identity now, and now with a new suit, so he's, he's got his own stamp now. So I think it's fantastic. Unless a particular person in X, Y, or Z community can relate to the message or relate to the promotional media that's being promoted in a particular community, if they can't relate to it as an individual, you're going to be missing them. Not everyone's blonde-haired, blue-eyed. Um, not everyone is able to speak English. Most of these people in these communities speak three or four languages. So you're, you're identifying an audience already using culture, so obviously you're going to, with this particular promotional tool, you're automatically going to draw in Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island viewers because of the cultural aspects that exist in this particular um, animated series. So um, I think it's highly important, and also how it actually relates to culture in, in regarding to the practices or the choices that you actually make, how that impacts on your culture, as an individual and how that impacts on your community, whether it be mainstream or indigenous, regardless. Make informed choices and decisions for yourself because it will impact on you as an individual and your choices and decisions will impact on your family, 